Victoire Ingabir Umuhoza. She's a Rwandan politician and chairperson of a new political party, the Development and Liberty for All. She joins us live from Kigali. Many thanks for joining the news hour. You've been very critical of your government's deal with the United Kingdom to take in these asylum seekers. Why is that? Thank you for having me. Uh, normally, Rwanda's intention to help address the global immigration problem is good, and the Rwanda, uh, what Rwandans are welcoming. However, Rwanda is a developing country with no opportunities to give to migrants. You know, unemployment um, among youth is high. Human capital in Rwanda is low. Poverty and the food insecurity persist in our country. Rwanda is yet to reach the genuine reconciliation following our painful past. Rwanda, as a member of the Commonwealth, does not respect the values such as democracy, rule of law, and human rights. How will migrants who have suffered trauma we, we fit in that environment? That is why I say Rwanda is not the, the, the good country to receive the migrant at the moment. There was a spokesperson from the Rwandan government who made a very impassioned plea yesterday to say, since there are no better options for these displaced people, why not give a chance to this plan? What do you say to that? Yeah, they have to know the, the migrants who are, are in the UK, they have to stay there because there is the Con Geneva Convention relative to the statute of refugees that stipulate that refugees should not be sent in the, in the country where the liberty should be treated. And Rwanda as a country uh, which does not respect human rights, I am afraid for these refugees. That is firstly, then the second reason, the Rwanda government they promised to, to treat very well these refugees. I am agreeing with, they show the, the nice rooms, but these refugees, what they need is not rooms where to stay. This is not the swimming pools that they need. Yes, exactly. They need the I was going to ask, I was going to mention this to you. I mean, some of the pictures that we've been shown of these hostels, swimming pools, washing ma machines, facilities I presume the average Rwandan doesn't have. How do you explain it? No, the, 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 but, but the Rwanda self cannot pay the accommodation of these refugees. This will be paid by the UK government. But it, one, the day where the British government we will stop to pay this accommodation. What will happen mm. to these refugees? They don't have any future in Rwanda because Rwanda is a poor country. Rwanda creates its own refugees, doesn't it? Do you have an idea of the existing numbers? And we hear a lot about um, its economic, Rwanda's economic record. It's been much lauded. Uh, why do you say that there are no opportunities for these people? Because, as I said, we have the problem of unemployment among the youth in, the, in our country. The, the Rwanda government cannot offer um, jobs to these refugees, and these refugees will not stay only in the room. They will need to work to, def to develop themselves. And the secondary, even if the, there's some development achievement, but Rwanda has a long way to go to develop himself. You know that Rwanda is accounted among 20, 25 poorest country in the world. Mm. This, uh, we have a long way to go. This we had not to promise, the government of Rwanda has not to promise something they cannot achieve, they cannot offer to these refugees. The refugees, they can have a better life in the UK. If the problem is between the is this illegal migrant who, who, who travels from France, the British government has to deal this problem with the France government, not with Rwanda. Mm. Victoire Ingabir Umohoza, a Rwandan opposition politician, thank you so much for joining us on the news hour. Okay, thank you too.